I didn't know what a dynamic toolpath was until I actually saw it. I walked out there and they were cutting rectangular pockets and it was cutting curved shapes. And I'm just, I'm watching this thing and I'm thinking, why is it cutting curved shapes? And then I keep watching it and it's actually changing the program every time it makes a cut to utilize the side of the tool more efficiently. And as it got closer, it, it went from a circle to an oval to a rectangle. It was amazing and it, it just moves stock very, very efficiently. So instead of using just a very small amount of the cutter on the bottom, using the full length of the cutter. So it drops down almost to the full depth of the pocket, does all the roughing, then it comes back out, does a finished cut and peels it off. Doug Hepler, president of PolyShot Corporation. We're located in upstate New York. We build hot runner systems um, and we specialize in the injection molding industry. We had several older versions of Master Can and um, when we bought the Makino, we realized in order to use it efficiently, we needed to have a full 3D high-speed uh, package that was tuned to do high-speed milling. And we didn't know what to expect. When the, the software came in and it was loaded up and we put blocks of steel in the machine, when we saw dynamic milling, it was shocking. Shocking the speed of it. We're moving steel through the machine, I'm going to guess three times faster than we did previously. So it's quite dramatic. We're getting ready to buy another vertical machining center and we thought we needed a 60 tool tool changer on there. What we found out is because of the way that Mastercam handles the tooling, we're now able to get a machine with a 40 tool changer because instead of using more dedicated tooling, we're actually using end mills to finish counter bores pockets, even drilled holes to certain depths. So we needed, we actually saved $19,000 on the machine. That was a difference between a 60 position tool changer and a 40. So it's quite dramatic. And anytime you don't have to change a tool, um, have an additional tool that allows us to have one behind it. So as we, as we cut, we actually go and probe with a laser. If the tool's worn, now we can grab a second tool right behind it and we can continue to cut. So not only do we save tools, we actually have more uptime than we did before.